In this video with the Anking, we'll be discussing one of the most useful add-ons possible. It is the Rememorize add-on, and there are a couple tips and tricks we'd like to share with you. The Rememorize add-on is like Reschedule and Reviewer, but even better, and I would recommend that you use it. And I'm just going to go into a card to show you how this works. If I hit R, which is what I have set, it will pull this up. And then you can hit zero to forget the card. It will set it as brand new. Or you can have an interval. So if this card was at a three-day interval and I set it to seven, it would now be a seven-day interval and it would just continue from there. However, if I set it to negative seven and it was at a three-month interval, I would see it in a week and then it would go back to its three-month interval. Now you can also do the same thing with dates. I could set in 1-15-2020. Uh, if, if my test was on 1-16-2020, and it would just reschedule cards there to see before my test, but it wouldn't reset the date if I put the negative. You can do it without that if you want. Now you can also put a P in front of this, and it will do the previous card that you've done, it's rather than this card that I'm doing right now. So those are the kind of tricks that you can do with it. Now I'm gonna show you some of the settings here in the add-ons folder. If you're on 2.0, you won't have the feature config here, but, uh, there are add-ons to tweak that and I'll list that in the description of this video. Now here's the configuration and you can change a couple things here. There's descriptions of all of these here and I recommend you read through all of them. I'll show you the ones that I think are important. Firstly is this default days on ask. I have mine set to negative seven, but let's say you have a big test that's coming up on 1-16-2020 like we said. You can have the default set to this day so whenever you hit R, to reschedule will automatically do that, which I think is extremely useful. Now here's this something I'll show you in a second to reset the ease or to forget a card. Uh, and my hotkey is set to R. Now it's very important if you have the customized keyboard shortcuts or you're on Anki 2.1, you need to go to the config here in the reviewer. I think it was one of these replay audios that was set to R and it needs to be changed. You need to make sure that there is no other shortcut set to R if that's the shortcut that you choose. Otherwise you can do something else like control R. Let's go back in here. And you can also set it to reschedule sibling cards if you get them wrong. So if you have a close card with multiple closes, it'll reschedule them based off of these settings here. So make sure you read everything here to better understand that. Now the last thing you can also do is the study option here. You can change the ease factor or forget a note. I showed you how you can do that with zero as well. So you can do this and change the ease factor. If you don't know what that is, I strongly recommend you go watch our videos in the basic tutorial playlist. Now lastly, I recommend you go read the documentation on the Anki page because there are other things you can do in the browser rescheduling cards with this add-on that are useful as well. I don't use them as often and that's why I'm not including them in the video, but they can be useful if you are using that feature. Thanks for learning with the Anking. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the new tips and tricks we have to share with you. Also, here's our email. Feel free to send us any and all questions and comments. We are here to help.